Last Sunday, people went to a Texas church to worship, and many did not make it out alive. A day later, our local law enforcement acted swiftly to communicate with Coloradans. Aurora police tweeted this, due to the Texas church massacre, we felt it was important to share some safety tips with Aurora's communities of faith. Chief Nick Metz is joining me in studio this morning. Chief, good morning. Good morning. What is the overall big picture for people with your safety tips? Well, first of all, our safety tips apply to any type of uh, organization, not just uh, not just our faith communities, but mainly just to let people know that there are some things that they can do to help either prevent uh, an active shooter from occurring or if something does occur, give them some tips on what to do. You felt the need to put this out there for our communities. What is the hope for you by offering this advice? Our hope is for to get people to really think about what to do, to have a plan in place, to really start thinking about that. Part of that includes uh, the fact that we're going to actually have a, a community meeting in the next week or two mm -hmm. with our faith communities and bringing them together because we want them to start networking with each other, share ideas on security, and for us to be able to share ideas with them on how to uh, keep their communities of faith safe. Has the community reached out to you guys and responded to this? Well, they have. We've received a number of calls uh, ranging from asking for tips and ideas, uh, asking for us to come out and actually look at their facilities to give them some ideas of some things that they can do to make it safer, all the way to asking if we can provide security. And so we're, you know, letting them know what we can and what we can't do. This day and age, do you see people with their own personal guns more so? We do. We do, yes. And what is your advice to those people? Well, we all know that down in Texas it's been pretty well publicized that folks came out with their own guns to confront uh, to confront the shooter. Um, and our, our, our advice to folks who do that or who have weapons is that when the police arrive, do exactly what they tell you to do. Mm -hmm. Our officers arrive, they're not going to know who the threat is. And anyone holding a gun to them is a threat. So when that officer gives you orders to drop the gun, to get on the ground, to turn around, don't argue with them. Mm -hmm. Do exactly what they tell you to do so that we can have a peaceful outcome. And Chief, you've been in law enforcement 33 years now. Did you ever think that you would have to offer safety advice to the public about a potential massacre like a church shooting? I never have. It's it's uh, to what we've seen, and unfortunately in our region, we're not uh, we're aware of uh, you know major tragedies, particularly in Aurora. But mm -hmm. uh, just in these last uh, five to ten years, seeing what is going on around in our country is really heartbreaking. So. Um, our narrative to our community has changed a lot in how to maintain that safety. Uh, we give a lot of training to our community about run, hide, and fight, what to do in the event of an active shooter, whether it's in a faith community, a business, a school. Um, again, it's, it's a whole new kind of paradigm for us, and we're having to adjust to that. Chief Nick Metz, thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you. we will have information for people on that meeting that you want to hold with the communities. CBSDenver.com is the place to go for that.